and new HoloLens 2 is live and you can make pre-orders for your business. Augmented reality as a parallel spooky world. And journalism now can present breaking news in a more compelling way. All this with me, Julia from Arcona, in our sixth episode of Weekly Dose of AR. It finally happened! Microsoft HoloLens 2 has been presented to the public and the company had demos at the Mo- Mobile World Congress in Barcelona on Sunday. Microsoft HoloLens was one of the first computers running the Windows Mixed Reality platform that appeared on the market in 2016. It is the first self-contained holographic computer enabling you to engage with your digital content and interact with holograms in the world around you. HoloLens 2 has some modifications in its design and now it is lighter as it is made of carbon fiber and easily fits over your glasses. The price of the device is a bit cheaper than the first HoloLens and it costs $3,500. However, it is still not ready to be used on a daily basis as it is mainly aimed at corporate users and developers. Are you going to implement AR into your business in the near future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Sometimes augmented reality is described as a parallel digital world that turns out to be kind of true. Lego has taken advantage of this description and did their absolutely unique AR set. LEGO Hidden Sights presents a paranormal world that exists alongside the real one and designers have full freedom of creativity so they can turn schools, buses and other buildings into spooky ones. Ghosts and spirits can be seen in the real world and augmented reality can help with adding these features into the game. Augmented reality has started appearing in journalism to present a more compelling story. The New York Times is experimenting with immersive experiences as part of their general news coverage. It all started with the Winter Olympics in 2018 and when the team was pretty comfortable with the production process, they switched to breaking news and they finished off the year with certain data visualization. The New York Times uses augmented reality not only to convey information in a very precise way, but also to cover it with the level of sensitivity, but without making it feel like you're in a game. Not every story needs to be immersive, and the team has come up with the formats they, that they were comfortable working with, where readers need to imagine the scene in more details and to understand the story better. The team from the New York Times gave a speech at AR in Action Leadership Summit at MIT and outlined the points where augmented reality can help journalism. A journalistic value in displaying a subject in its entirety, explaining scale, height, speed or distance better, emotional connect, a more intuitive interaction and make graphics larger and more convenient to interact with. Thanks for watching and may AR be with you.